Are you serious? Are you serious? Sorry about this. Uh, we've got another situation here. I'm glad you guys are joining me. I'm going to be coming back to you live with the broadcast at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but we've got some a situation developing in Barcelona. You know about the attacks, but a rabbi has just announced that uh, life for the Jew, for the Jewish people in Spain is over. And he's, he's telling the Jews to go ahead and they should be buy property in Israel. Um, following this Barcelona terror attack where 13 people were killed and over 100 people were, were injured, the chief rabbi in Spain says life in Spain is doomed. Jews are not here permanently, said Rabbi Mir ben Hen. He said, and, and said, I tell my con congregation, don't think we're here for good. And I encourage them to buy property in Israel. This place is lost. Don't repeat the mistake of the Algerian Jews or the Venezuelan Jews. You better get out of here early than try to get out late. Uh, of course, we know Thursday a van plowed into the crowd in Barcelona, killing 13 people and injuring over 100 in this second vehicle attack um, uh, in, in Spain uh, on Friday morning, another woman was killed. Five more suspect terrorists out of a cell of 12 were shot dead by police, and another four were arrested. But the driver of the van of, in Barcelona is still at large. Some reports are he may have made it into France. Now, the Islamic State, or ISIS, has claimed responsibility for these attacks, which authorities say have been in the works for months. Explosives have been found at the house uh, thought to have been used by the terror cell were likely intended for further attacks in the region. Of course, that house blew up the night before on Wednesday night. So Rabbi Ben Barhen said that the attacks were not the only warning sign calling Spain a hub of Islamic terror for all of Europe. He noted that the growing Muslim community brought with it a radical fringe, which only becomes more entrenched and more dangerous with time. Indeed, uh, senior fellows at the Gaystone Institute in Spain say Spain is on track to overtake Greece as the second Biggest gateway for migrants entering Europe by sea. And um, so this thing, basically what the rabbi is saying, don't wait, don't get, telling the Jewish people, don't wait around until it's too late, like what happened in Algeria and what's happening right now in Venezuela. He's saying to them, get out of Spain right now. This nation is doomed. This is not good. Now, we know that Spain has got economic issues, but they're not the only country. Uh, so is Italy. So is uh, Portugal. Uh, several of the uh, Greece, of course. And so it's not just the migrant crisis that is uh, putting uh, those nations on edge, or all of Europe for that matter. Belgium, France, uh, Germany, Great Britain, all of them are on edge. All of them are on edge, folks. So we're watching and we're witnessing. And look at America. As I said, America's on the brink. America's on the brink. America's on the brink. And that may be what we've, I've been telling you. Pastor Mark Biltz has been telling you. Uh, and others are telling you that this total solar eclipse of the sun tomorrow is a warning. This is the sign in the heavens and a warning of things that are about to come up on America. And... Uh, we need a lot of prayer warriors praying. As you can see, the spirit of darkness is trying to overtake the lights, trying to eclipse the sun, if you will. But uh, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And so we really, 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 are you serious? We really need to pray uh, because we are living in dangerous times. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. And don't miss tonight's Sunday Night Live starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Come praying, come ready, come expecting 
uh, the power of God in a powerful prophetic broadcast on the eve of the great American eclipse. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The signs are everywhere.